Hi friends, welcome back to Mini Kit Monday. This is my second layout for May. I have my kit here, which just has some cardstock, some paper. I have some enamel dots. I have two different alphas. This is just a duplicate. So I have my two different alphas going. Oh, and this big sticker sheet. Now I do have a nice pile of goodies next to me, sorry, reaching on my desk of things that I am trying to use up or new things like my friend Dolly sent me this. So I'm trying to work this into layouts as well. She also sent me these great little goodies. So I have a bunch of things that I am working with as well to this side over there. And, oh, and the photos I'm using, and I still have to print a couple, are from my kids and my son's girlfriend. And they were playing kind of a loud game of Uno in our basement. And these pictures were taken in late April. So at that time, our state was still in quarantine. So they've been very creative with their time, especially in the evenings. All right, that's it for now. I'm going to get scrapping and take you along with me. All right, so I am going to use this really nice kind of slate colored cardstock to use as my base. And I don't use a ton of cardstock. So in a way, it's really fun for me because I don't. And the reason I'm using the cardstock is because it was A, in the kit that I had um, on my desk and I had two of them. And I don't have, I didn't have doubles of any of these papers that I'm using today. So the rest of the papers I will be using are pattern papers from this really great Cardabella line. I'm using this Tone on Tone Aqua. It is so gorgeous. Tone on Tone Aqua for the largest piece of my back, my pattern paper, yeah, background, I guess. I'm adding in uh, a couple levels, lines of the dice on each side. I'm really going to be doing mirror image kind of scrapbooking on this double page layout. And it is really the easiest way to do um, double page spreads. I mean, I've done some where it's mixed up a lot more, but this time I kept it kind of easy peasy on myself. I liked this three by four card that I pulled out. It reads game on with a stack of board games. And I mean, we've been, or my kids have been playing Uno a lot and they've been playing, what is it? Oh, my son is Candyland, which is really kind of weird because he's 23. But I, they've also been playing the game of life. So we have a lot of games going and things to fill in extra time in the evenings. So I'm gonna mat my uh, large photo here on this really great tone on tone. It's, it's not quite a navy blue and it's not quite like a crayon blue, but it's somewhere in between. Once again, the textured Cardabella stuff that is beyond gorgeous. And I'm going to, on the other side, really get into using a lot of scraps. I'm gonna do two of my photos in this blue and then I'm gonna be pulling in, I think two in the blue. Then I'm gonna be pulling in three by four cards that I didn't think I was going to use and I'm gonna be able to map photos on them. All righty, so that is the base of my layout. You see the, uh, the background papers are, I guess all my pattern papers are all attached. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of these blocks with this dice paper. I wanted to, I wanted to bring more of it in because I think it's really, really cute. And I don't think I've ever seen any of it. And it's gonna also give me a place to put a couple of clusters. I'm gonna go, oh, and that's a three inch circle punch. And I just punched out a piece of it. And I'm gonna take a couple scraps, both in the blue tones and punch out, I think these are one inch circles. I think they're one inch circles out of a couple of the scraps, which is just going to, you know, allow me to have some rounder elements in here because at this point, everything's a rectangle. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put clusters around them. And then, yeah, I can use a bunch of my bits and pieces on those, on those areas. So I've gone ahead also now and attached my photos. I popped up that photo that's on the left hand side, as well as the top photo to the right with the blue box around it of my daughter um, being way too excited that she won Uno. I put both of those little three by four cards on a bit of an angle to create movement. And I also brought in a little bit of 
read into my circle clusters as well as um, on top of one of my photos. I wanted to have a little bit more of a punch of color and the red is going to do that for me. Now it is time for me to build out my title and I'm going to be using these foam alphas. And I like to build a title if I can on top of um, waxed paper first so I can move it around and see where it's going to work best. And voila, through the wonders of film, we have the title on. So my title is Seriously Intense Uno. And on the right side, I used the smaller letter stickers and they're on foam, by the way and just wrote the word April. I didn't write it, I popped the word April on there. Now it's the fun part. Now I get to go ahead and decide what I wanna use in all my little clusters and to kind of build out this layout, you know, all the little decorative bits. So here I'm popping up one of these little sticker pieces on Fun Foam. I love these sticker sheets because you can pop them up on foam for a little bit of dimension or you can leave them flat and build on top of them. So I think the stickers are probably the best like bang for your buck in these collection kits. I did the same thing right there on foam with that stack of books and that's repeating the the uh, the three by four card on the left. It has, I'm sorry, it's the stack of games, not books. So it's repeating that kind of element and I think it's awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna continue seeing what I can pop from this sticker sheet on. Now, let me tell you what happened. I was putting this um, this kit away when I was done with this and I started putting it away and once it was all done and finished, I found a little stack of die cuts that went with this. Now, I didn't add it to the layout, but I was a little bummed because I could have used them as well. But as it, as it were, I did use a lot more elements than I probably would have used from the sticker sheet, but I would have liked to have remembered that I had some of the die cuts as well, but that's okay. So like, like I said, I'm going to pop um, a bunch of these stickers here and there around it. There's some itty bitty little ones that would say like sister or win or stuff like that. And I'm going to use whatever I can on this layout. So I've gone through the goodies I could on the sticker sheet and I did a nice job finding little bits and pieces. Now I'm looking at, I have like a stack of products that I keep to the right of me currently and I'm seeing what I can use. I have some of these, I think these are by Momenta, these little mixed media stickers and yeah, I've been using them on whatever layouts as I go and I, I like to do that. I like to just keep a small stack of products that aren't in kits that I'm using next to me because I end up using more and more pieces and I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't say, oh, I need a cork arrow and go run over to my cork thing. So just one of those little things I use and then I use up that package and then I add to it with a couple more little pieces. So these are some really great um, puffy pieces I got from my girlfriend, Dolly, and she sent me a little goodie package and it was really fun. So those are also in that stack of extra little products. And I think this is like a Thanksgiving set, but I mean, they have stars and circles and pluses and all that kind of thing. So you can use them perfectly for this. This is also from Dolly, this sticker sheet, and it is um, a set from Pink Fresh from one, of, I think from their newest collection. And it's great because they have all of these like primary colors and stuff in it, which work ever so nicely for this and see how just a couple of those stickers from those extra um products that i have from the right it really builds out and you never know what you can stick on things and i think it keeps it interesting and fresh and there's like like they're blue tones but it's a slightly more saturated tone or or those red stickers are just a little bit flatter so it's still using the same colors, but really creating interest. So awesome stuff when we keep using our supplies and seeing seeing what else we can put on layouts. When we think we're done, I bet there's something else you can add on there. Now I have these great, uh, I think it's a half set of the Cartabella um, enamel dots. So I'm gonna sprinkle them around ever so liberally. Now, my friend Tracy does not care for enamel dots that much. And I think it's funny because they're like my finishing touch. You give me enamel dots and a little mist and I feel like it finishes every layout. Anywho, 
Not that I use those two things on every layout, but I do think that there are great finishing touches and I am totally loving the ones that I'm actually using from the same collection. That doesn't happen often. I needed to shore up just a couple little pieces on this layout with some adhesive because I tend to use adhesive in the middle of things so I can tuck things under them later on. So that's what I was doing there. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you a little bit more of a close-up of some of these cluster pieces. I do hope you like what I came up with for this. If you want to see it a little bit better, just stop the frame, stop the uh, video, and take a quick look. So, what is there? Oh, and I'll leave links down below for the other mini kit Monday ladies so you can see what they came up to. Alright friends, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.